What's up everybody? This is Tyson with HHO for Live. I'm just going to do another follow up video with my vaporizer installed again. This is my original setup. I'm just testing it out to see how well it works. But this is what we have. Um, I have my air cleaner taken out. and um, This is my vaporizer, the first one that I designed. I have my gas line going into here so I can let fuel in because I don't have a bubbler connected because it's not working right. Um, I need to fix it. So You can listen to this. I'll get really close and it's almost doing no bubbling at all but yet it's running. I actually found that it runs better with less bubbles. Um, I mean you still need the same amount of holes but w without as much gas it uh, it works better. Um, so I'm going to attempt to drive it down the road today so I can show you guys that it actually works. Um, this is my 2006 Buick Rendezvous. Um, so you can see what I'm driving. I'm going to make an attempt to close the hood here guys. Um, oh, let me show you my valve setup if I can. Let's see. Right down in here is my valve setup. I don't know if you can see it or not because I can't see the viewfinder. But this little valve will open and close when the throttle is open to let more air into the mixture. And I, since I opened it, it killed it because it, it's too much air um, to the fuel mixture. See, I can turn start it just fine. Oh yeah, better mention this. My fuel line is all the way shut off. Watch what happens when I turn it on. Should kill my engine. Wow, it's actually not killing my engine. Imagine that. You think that it would, but not fully open. Huh. Well, it's not killing my engine. Maybe you can hear the bubbling effect. Maybe you can turn it out. Yeah, it's pretty much not even really bubbling. So I'm gonna add in some more fuel. Killed it. Put it in too fast. Whoops. Okay, let me start it again. Sucks way too many fumes in when I let gas and do it like that, so through the air intake portion. Um but anyway. My fuel line is all the way off. I don't know what's up with not sitting off, it usually does. thing I can think of is that maybe the rubber washer in my valve is bad. It's actually not rubber, it's like a plastic material, so I wouldn't imagine that it would be bad. Um, huh, interesting. Anyway, maybe it's because it's hot outside, I don't know. But here it goes. Might have. Hmm. I don't know, guys.
Hmm. All right. I posted a Stanley Mares video on my account because I didn't think that it was against copyright because it didn't say anywhere on the video that it was copyrighted. Well, come to find out, I guess it was. Um, TheWaterFuelCell.com tagged my account and flagged it as copyright because I guess he owns the copyrights to it. Um, and I have a strike on my account, so now I can't post videos longer than 15 minutes, so it's pretty sucky, but uh, I'm trying to get it disputed because I had no idea, I honestly had no idea that it was a copyrighted video because there's a lot of other people that have that same video on their account too. Um, but anyway, um, so this is my vaporizer installed running off of just purely vapor. Only thing I can think of is with me shutting my fuel off and it not dying, it possibly, you know, with the pressure, it might have blown out the uh, the washer in there. But it's not a washer; it's like a plastic ring. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I'll have to check it out, guys. And if there is something wrong with the valve, then I'll have to replace it and let you guys know. But I don't think there is. Um, notice when I run the bubbler, when I run my vaporizer, it's really, really cold, and I would imagine that's because it's in a va in a vacuum state. Um, not positive on that, but I think that's why. So I guess I could show you my speed and whatever. So I am actually going down the road. I've I've noticed with this setup, once I go over about 3,500 RPMs it kind of has a harder time like if I punch it so I'm just trying to avoid doing that for now um, I'll try to work out all the kinks and stuff guys so that you can have all the good information so I try to replicate what I have and <clears throat> have problems too so you guys can choose to replicate it right now um, or you can choose to watch and um, wait till I work out all the bugs it's all up to you but, I mean, you can go for it. If you guys have any better ideas, you know, to of what I can do to make it a better design or to make it work better, then feel free to let me know, please. I'd be very grateful um, for any advice. So, if you guys have experimented with it yourself and found out a better way to do things. But, so, as you can see, I am driving down the road. Um, right now doing about 30 40 let's see if I can go much faster I don't know what the speed limit is on this road and I really don't want to get pulled over but going faster lag just there for a second Act like it was gonna try to die. Going up a hill. Doesn't seem to have any effect on it. that out real quick and see. <clears throat> Alright, this is the main fuel line. 
got it pretty peaked right now. I don't know if you can see it or not. I could take this line off, but I don't want to risk. It is pretty kinked though, so. See that? Don't seem to be having much of an effect. I'm gonna see if I can slowly let some fuel into here. You can see it going through my line, maybe. the bubbles guys I can see it through this viewing screen so see what happens when I turn it on real fast ooh, ooh. good it saved itself I don't think I might have done too much that time. Nope, it caught itself. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go. Now you can kind of hear it starting to bubble. Maybe we can see down there. Get out. There's a little bit of bubble lot bubbling action going on. Alright guys, well. Better end it there because I don't want to go over time. This is Tyson with HHL for Life. Peace out, have fun, and hope you enjoy it. Comment, all that kind of good stuff.